Welcome back to Raiders Franchise on Madden 25. We are 4-2, and two, and these injuries are out of control. I think a slider change could be in order, not only to potentially limit the injuries, and I think injuries should be in the game, right? But they've been at a pretty insane rate, and I think it kind of hurts the overall experience. I'm not going to lie. I also think it's been a little bit too easy. I'm not going to look into what sliders to use right now, somebody's slider set. I'm just going to turn down some things. Like quarterback accuracy, we have Gardner Minshew. Like pass blocking, I think we have a little bit too much time. So we'll turn everything down by five, see if that makes a difference. And then the injuries, we're going to make 20. It was 25 to begin with. We'll go down to 20. Injuries should still happen. It's a big part of football. It's what makes sports interesting because, you know, next man up, next guy gets a chance. But it's the whole team gets injured every game is a little bit too much for me. And if you think that's, you know, an exaggeration, go watch some of the prior episodes. Malcolm Kuntz gets injured literally minimum once per game. And he's got 89 injury. It's sometimes up to three times per game. That's too many times. Fatigue starting to set in a little bit here as well midway through the season. We are about to week eight. The next episode is going to be some trade deadline stuff. We could potentially be trading for or trading away some players. We'll probably go over scouting a little bit as well. That's going to be the national focus week. That's going to be our real first look at it, I would say, probably. And then we'll probably readdress it come week 13, I would say, where we could look at a couple of different focus players, maybe even the week before leading into it. But, uh... You know, we've set the regional scouts to be what we want them to be. But deciding on that national position could be a little bit more difficult. I don't necessarily have to do either corner or wide receiver. We do get an efficiency boost when we do that. But if we're not planning on drafting either of those positions, and we will definitely consider both of them, I'm just saying in general, you know, it might not make a ton of sense. These players are just not all that good. Like, I don't know. We're going to have a pretty good idea about how good they are. As we get deeper into the year here, we should have a lot of these guys fully scouted. The strengths of the class are supposedly corner, wide receiver, and quarterback. Three positions, at least two positions that we're really going to heavily consider drafting in corner and quarterback. But uh, no one is really standing out as top flight guys at this point. But it's so early. We haven't really taken a look. So it could still be a stock draft class. There could be a generational player in there. I would doubt it, highly doubt it at this point, but it's a possibility. Do have upgrades for the offensive line, Andre James and the rookie Jackson Powers Johnson. So JPJ will get a nice little boost in here. And he is up to a 78 overall with a plus four awareness boost. He looks very good, very well-rounded. Impact blocking is quite high. Strength is good. Movement skills, speed, acceleration, agility, all pretty good. When we look at the Rams... Of course, they have Tredavious White. Not quite the player he used to be, but he's still an 88 overall, I believe, with Superstar X-Factor in the game. At least Superstar. I saw it in the weekly thing. We'll figure it out when we actually load into the game. Cooper Cup, Kyron Williams was really productive in real life last year. I don't know how that's going to look in 2024 with the addition of Blake Corum and Kyron Williams supposedly returning kicks in some capacity. So that's going to be really interesting. And Jordavius White still has X-Factor. That's a little insane. But we'll take on the Rams. Matthew Stafford. Puka Nakua. Should be a good one. Ooh, those are, those are numbers, huh? The NFL season is officially back on Thursday with Chiefs and Ravens, which means more specials from Underdog Fantasy when you use code BANGLE and click that link down in the description. You get a free pick with Travis Kelsey. If he gets a yard, you're a winner. And for a limited time, new customers deposit and get up to $1,000 in bonus cash. Also, because it's Thursday, you get a 30% profit boost token. You can apply your Thursday 30 token, which is a tongue twister, to any qualifying entry to boost your profit by 30%. The picks I have for Thursday night still includes me being a Jalen Hurts hater. You can still take the NFL season long total. I have lower 23 and a half passing touchdowns. But for Thursday, Travis Kelsey, free pick to get a yard or more. Derrick Henry, higher rushing yards. Lamar Jackson, lower passing yards. Lamar kind of takes a little bit to get going through the air sometimes. I expect the Ravens to really run the football. 
I'm back in Derrick Henry in this one. But use code BENGAL on Underdog Fantasy. Link is down in the description. Remember to use code BENGAL if you forgot. Use code BENGAL Underdog Fantasy. Here we go. Let's win a game. Slight slider change. Now, I didn't change anything in the main Madden menu, which you'd think, why would that even matter? In the past, it actually has mattered. So, I don't know <laughs> how this game is going to play. Could be no different at all. I don't know. They've got a lot of playmakers on offense. I don't really ever mention it, but I did completely call the Puka Nakua breakout last year, my Rams rebuild. That was a fun one. So I have been on the Puka hype train for a little while now, and he's one of a really talented couple of uh, offensive players on this team. Cooper Cup has been incredible in the past. Injuries may be getting to be a bit of a problem. Ooh, that's a pretty good route. We're not even close. Completely turned around, and Puka Nakua has a big gain of 20 or more. Let's make a play, Diablo. They're going play action. Get back. We can't get back. It's Cooper Cup over the middle on the crosser. He's brought down, but not before another massive gain for the Rams. They're bringing things down into the low red zone. Ball on the eight-yard line. Trying to stop some points. Come on, make a play, make a mistake. Seed from Stafford falls incomplete. I can't really fault the throw there, just not quite on the same timing with Cooper Cup. Maybe the throw wasn't exactly where it needed to be as Kyron Williams is gonna get a couple there. And that's kind of the problem with our run defense that I've noticed so far this year, is even when we're stopping the run, they're still getting like a minimum of three yards. And that's not that good. Throwing towards the end zone and touchdown. That is Chatarius Tutu Atwell. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown Rams. And that drive just looked way too easy. They had big plays when they needed big plays. Chunk yardage. And they were pretty much were able to do whatever they wanted. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward through the, whatever the stat portion is. I couldn't even see any of those numbers. Remember, our new season goal from last episode is get Alexander Madison seven rushing touchdowns. And if he's going to run the football like that, that might not even be difficult at all. Great blocking. We're able to find a hole. Madison doesn't have the home run speed to turn that into much more than just the nine and a half or 10 yards that we got. I wanted Bowers. Get up the field, Devontae. Just space everything out. We're going to take off Minshew Mania with a nice scramble, and the offense is already cooking. Just a couple of plays. Nice return from Dylan Lauby as well. And we have the ball on the 44-yard line. Trey Tucker wide open. Nice little spin in space there. That did only nothing. Stepping up with Minshew. Devontae Adams wide open. We're going to hit him late on the slant. Juke back inside. Devontae Adams brings us down to the five. And we are responding very, very well to a really great first Rams possession. I mean, Devontae Adams is uncovered right now. But with the play action, are we going to be able to get out in, in time? We're not. Tried to lob it. I just tapped the button, but that was my concern with that. Try running the ball down here. Good blocking again. And look at Jackson Powers Johnson. That is teach tape. Pick up the first guy. Climb to the next level. Pick up the next guy. That's awesome stuff. Jackson Powers Johnson paving the way for an Alexander Madison touchdown. Great stuff. Madison walks in untouched and we're going to tie things up here at seven. Okay, defense. Looked a little like Swiss cheese last time out. Maybe we look a little bit better on this drive. You're going to play action. That just is such a sick throw. Cooper Cup broken tackle. Nate Hobbs trying to save a touchdown and will. But it's another big play for the Rams. Matthew Stafford over 130 yards passing in just the first quarter. And that's just an amazing throw. There's so few quarterbacks with that level of anticipation, accuracy, and arm strength. We call arm talent overall that are able to make that throw. The accuracy and the, the velocity, just out of control. And then, of course, the veteran, he's been there. He's got the anticipation to, to know and throw Cooper Cup open, to know that Cooper Cup's going to be open. How do we defend that? I think the Rams are probably going to have us in hell today. That would be my little prediction there. I don't think we're going to have a shot. 
unless we score every time we touch the football. And I guess that's actually a possibility. But that's you're really banking on a lot there. Throw to the end zone, and it's picked off by Jack Jones. Jones is a pick six machine. He's going to break a Puka Nakua tackle. We're taking it back. Jack Jones down the sideline. Rams in pursuit. Adwell chasing him down. Jack Jones, end zone to end zone. The pick six machine strikes again. Coast to coast for Jack Jones. Are you kidding me? What a return. The ball hawk ability to step in front and out of nowhere secure the takeaway. Thought about just going down in the end zone, but I said, you know what? Jack Jones this season has been Mr. Pick 6, and that's exactly what happened. Broke a Puka Nakua tackle. Speed down the sideline, huffing and puffing, and finding the end zone in what is a massive swing. That is a 14-point swing. Because instead of being down 14-7, we are now up 14-7. It's pretty incredible. And hopefully that makes sense why that is a 14-point swing as opposed to a 7-point swing. Because it's minus 7 for the Rams and plus 7 for the Raiders. I'm bad at math, but I really do mean 14-point swing. Third and inches. He's going to run the ball. We tried to light it up. Because they were going to get the first down anyway. It's a dangerous move to shoot the inside gap instead of where our actual responsibility was with Devon Diablo. But we're playing for the tackle for a loss there. We would allow a couple more extra yards in the outside. We actually contained it really well. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Yep, at well for the first. That's going to be bad. Yeah, we just... We're having a tough time in coverage right now. Oh, Jesus! Abdominal tear for Tyree Wilson. He's actually top three in the NFL in sacks right now. And his season is uh, going to be cut short. I don't know if it's going to be completely over. He may be back. It might be like a month injury. But tearing your abdominal muscle seems bad, but Stafford loses the football. Koontz was there. Did he force it out? Looks like Robert Spillane recovers. And our defense is forcing turnovers when we have to. This is really bend but don't break. We broke the first time around. Koontz was there to force it out. Christian Wilkins also in there as well. And that's clearly a fumble. We'll take over with four and a half minutes to go in the first half. And try to make this a 21-7 game. Minshew on the move! Minshew Mania is literally running wild! Vanilla Vic is back in the form of Gardner Minshew. It's been a while since I brought that one back. Madison with a crease! Madison might be gone! Alexander Madison, bang! Touchdown! Okay, second of the game for 22. And we are just killing it right now. I don't even know what you can say. The Rams they get so close, can't finish. And we are just unstoppable. We just, we have no stop for Nakua or Cup. It's freaking two Tua girls, one Cup. We're getting shit on, dude. Two Tua Atwell, Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua. We have no answer for any of this. Spillane, get a hand on it. Let's go. There it is. Spillane does the job. Not amazing, but good enough to force a field goal try. That's the two-minute warning as well. So we get the football back. Two-minute offense with a chance to score before the end of the second quarter. 157 on the clock. Let's get something going. We can still run the ball. Playbook absolutely wide open. Coach wants us to pass. And you know what? I shall. We'll hit Brock Bowers or Michael Mayer out of the backfield, I think, is actually pretty intriguing. But Bowers is open. We know he can definitely run after the catch. And if you watched the end of last episode, Brock Bowers got abilities. Superstar dev. Although, shouldn't he have a star on the field? Isn't that a thing? How do I pull it up? I don't know. Maybe it's only for X Factor guys. Bowers should be a superstar player, right? With 
like jukebox and uh, armbar, right? Or truck something? I think armbar, maybe. Devontae Adams is open. Got a block from Bowers. That's the first down. Just over a minute on the clock. This is like an interception waiting to happen if I target Devontae Adams. I mean, sometimes you just got to try. Tried to throw it over the linebacker. Alex Singleton in coverage. That could have been a huge mistake, but we actually did what I wanted to do, which is nice. We're going to step up with Minshew. Maybe had Devontae Adams there. He'll take out the legs of Singleton. Gardner Minshew abusing Alex Singleton right now. Rams calling timeouts is interesting. They want a shot to get the football back. Uh, we're not really going to be allowing that. Madison inside the 10. Rams opting not to call a timeout, which makes the first one semi-peculiar, to say the least. You were not going to stop us from getting the first down. Bowers, sideline, out at the one. And we might consider going for it here if we can't get in. Second and goal. Madison, change of direction. It won't even matter. Wasn't stopped there. Probably wouldn't have been stopped on third down. May not have been stopped on fourth down. <laughs> the Rams can't stop us at all right now. 22 for the third time has found the end zone in just the first half. This is a murder. Man coverage, I don't think I love, but we're going to try it here. 12 seconds on the clock. It just keeps us close enough. The Rams are not quite in field goal range. We'll see if they try one. They're not going to. No, they are going to. From the 41? I don't know. Here's the kick. It is wide right. It had the leg, but not the accuracy. That one really never had a chance. Three seconds to go. Play action. Oh my goodness, Jacoby Myers could not have been more open. I've never in my life seen a more open receiver than Jacoby Myers. And I just, I, I don't know what happened. I just had already decided we were going to take a shot to Devontae Adams. It's like I almost couldn't even believe what I was seeing. I know I, I missed Jaco or, uh, Devontae Adams for a touchdown at the end of the Broncos game. Here, like, the problem with that, and I totally get it, and it's really, like, easy to see on, like, mobile or laptop, and it's a small screen, and you can see every route at the same time. And uh, it's a little bit different in real time, of course, obviously, as well. I'll continue to make excuses. That's what's happening right now. But, um, like, I've, I looked at Devonta Adams against Press the entire game in that Broncos game. He was pretty much never open. And when he was open, we would underthrow the ball trying to get it to him with Gardner Minshew. That happened several times in the game. So when he's the lone receiver on that side of the field and we have like trips right, I'm not really looking to the solo matchup. I'm That's a low percentage play in terms of where all of our receivers are. So I just, I never even checked that way. Of course, that's the time he burned press. Would have underthrown the ball anyway, but yeah, we would have won the game provided we had an accurate throw. So uh, disappointing to lose to the Broncos that way. That just made me think of it now because I missed a super wide open receiver. But, I mean, there's a reason I'm I'm playing video games and not playing quarterback in the NFL. It's not just because of that, but I'm sure it's a contributing factor. How in the world was Jacoby Myers that open, by the way? I wish we could have gone into replay mode and just, just to see what happened. Because it was insane. All right, third and ten. I think Myers is wide open this time. And he is. Nice catch. Would have had a touchdown before the end of the half. But he unfortunately did not come to fruition there. This is not read option. I think it actually is. I'm just going to give it to Madison up the middle. Break a tackle and do something. 10 rushes, 89 yards for Madison in what is probably one of the best games of his career. He's averaging 9 yards a carry. Kind of insane. Going to take off with Minshew. Going to get some blocks. Just slide. Let's not be crazy. We're up 28 to 10. Don't let him get back in the game, please. I'm pleading with myself, by the way. First and 10. Not really, not really seeing anything there. Thankfully, didn't fumble. 
Let's just run on second and nine. Oop, back up the middle. Not exactly the design of the play, but it looked like they contained that pretty well, forcing us back in. Thought maybe we'd be able to make somebody miss. Didn't end up happening. And it is third and eight. I really think something's going to get open here. I like this play. Devontae Adams, seed! From Minshew, and Adams is down at the one. I just don't rack catch that because I get so afraid about throwing a pick, but I, I got to start rack catching those. Devontae Adams, doesn't matter. Touchdown on the next play anyway. A rare touchdown for our best receiver. Really best player on offense by a considerable margin. Brock Bowers has played great, but Devontae Adams is that guy. Now, it's unfortunate that I'm talking like that, and then you see fucking Glaze right in front of him on his knees. Bad timing. There he is. DJ Delmar Glaze. Bro is glazing. You can't compliment anybody anymore. You can't say anybody's good. Second and eight. I don't think they're going to run the ball here. Got to try to take that away. We're all over it. We play for the knockdown with Devon Diablo. Maybe needs to be an interception. Easy reads. Use your pick. Dr. Seuss book reference because it was such an easy read, but played to knock it down. Didn't want to allow the big play. The knockdown is just a little bit safer. And that is so wide open. We whiff on Tyler Higby, and maybe we should have played for the pick. Stafford's going to throw for, I would say at minimum 450 yards against us in this game, but we're up 35-10. They have not been able to capitalize down here outside of that first drive. And they've tried a number of different things. And there's 2-2 Atwell again. Second touchdown for him. Trey Tucker. That's about right. Third and 10. Is Bowers the most open target? I suppose he... I don't I don't even... I don't know. But we threw it to him and it worked. Madison. I wish we just had the burst up the field when we try and plant and cut. Just doesn't really exist. Fonte Adams just undercut the safety here. Timing just a bit off, but I think it would have been there. Tried to change the sliders to make the game a little bit more difficult. And dude, Bowers late. Oh my God, what a throw for Minshew. Brock Bowers with the catch. That's insane. But it's worked out really well. Tried to change the sliders to make the game more challenging. And this seems to be our easiest game yet. But I don't know. Does it look a lot different if we don't get those uh, turnovers, you know, in the red zone? It probably does. That's the fourth touchdown for Alexander Madison. And it hasn't even been a challenge. It, our O-line is just insane right now. The Rams get a lot of work to do. I would love to see Max Crosby play a little bit more of an impact. But he's been not really doing much today. Big hit, Divine Diablo. Going to hold the ram short of the first there. Third and inches. This is where we try to light him up. Just send everybody. Trust the boys in man coverage. Maybe Amari Bernie blows it up if it's a run up the middle. It's going to be a pass. And that's, yeah, that's a tough matchup. Marcus Epps just doesn't have it. That's going to be a Puka Nakua touchdown. I think those are the risks you can take when you have this type of a lead, though, at this stage in the game. The Rams make it 42-24. We have inverted scores with four minutes to go in the fourth. I don't really think they're going to come back. Now, will they try an onside kick? That would be interesting. They are going to try it. All right. Well, good luck to you. We're not, actually, but... Uh... I tried to take it back! How about good luck to me the rest of the game? Rams with the football again could make it 42-31. Jesus. I mean, there's there's no way that... Okay, all right, whatever. Yep, that's just a great shot up the seam. We're in cover three. Stafford knows it, I guess. And now we have Cooper Cup in the zone. I have no idea what his in the zone ability is. It makes me think somebody should try and cover him, though. Oh, he's just going to break tackles. Okay, he's inside the five. First and goal from the three. Slant open. Divine Diablo stops the touchdown. I said slant open. It was a Texas route on the backfield. A little angle from Kyron Williams. We're going cover two. We're playing underneath. We're just going to try to get in the way. 
Try to get in the way. Trey Taylor. Ooh. We didn't really cover that well. That's hard flats. Third and goal from the three. Over the middle. Throwing, and it is a touchdown. Tell me that is not 2-2 at will for the third time. We have allowed three touchdowns to 2-2 at will. It's not great. Why is this guy such a phenom in the red zone? The Rams will try another onside kick down 42-31 with two minutes to play. That's going to be recovered by Jacoby Myers. He takes a big hit. 2-12 to go. Let's end the game. It's a two-possession game. A first down would do wonders for us. Three and out. Ooh, that'd be bad. Madison right up the gut. The blocking has been incredible in this one. 15 rushes for 118. Four touchdowns. This feels like Falcons franchise with B. John Robinson. It just started becoming a cheat code at some point. B. John rushed for like 1,800 yards as a rookie for us. Blocking was good with Chris Lindstrom. This feels like playing with B. John Robinson again. And it's Alexander Madison. Why is running the ball so easy today? We made run blocking worse in theory. And it's, it's playing as good as it's ever been. That should be DPI. Good blocks. That might be another touchdown. Oh, Madison just not quite fast enough. Muscle cramps for JPJ. Get back in the game. Now, I had a cramp, calf cramp today. Oh my goodness, right before I started recording. It's debilitating. I feel like I know what it's like to be Charles Xavier from the X-Men now. Can't even walk. Need to rent a wheelchair. I think that's probably the first time that's ever been done. I think usually those are more permanent options. First and goal from the eight. Alexander Madison out of the game. Abdullah down to the two. Fear Amir. It feels a little racist, but Amir Abdullah with a nice run for us. We're going to work off play action. Hit Devontae Adams. Touchdown. Second score of the game for Devontae Adams. And if it wasn't over already, it sure is now. That is the dagger. Devontae Adams on the slant. And it's going to be 49-31. Hopefully your final. 133 to play. I said Stafford was going to throw for 450. It might end up being closer to 500. And we're kind of going to let them just dink and dunk if they want to do that. Where is Stafford right now? I want a stat update there at the bottom of the screen. Doesn't look like we're going to get one, unfortunately. But that's okay. And we'll find out in the post game. Divine Diablo forces an incompletion through, I don't know, willpower? He didn't touch anybody. So, or the football. Not really sure how that works. Man, they like to survive a lot of hit sticks this game. Trying to light them up, and they just eat them. Kyron Williams, Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua. Even Tutu Atwell, I think, who's like 140 pounds. Under 40 seconds to go. Just keep him in bounds, please. Interception to end the game would be awesome. I don't know why it feels like that's about to happen. I just have that, that gut feeling and inkling. We're going to make a play running back towards the where the A and the N meet in Los Angeles. Just feel like that's going to happen. 204 receiving yards, by the way, for Cooper Cup. <sighs> just one of those days, huh? Not really doing a whole lot of that defense thing. Oh! <laughs> Touchdown Rams. What a ball from Stafford. I know Tyler Higby can't do that shit. There's literally no way. And that is the ball game. 49-38 is your final. You know, unfortunate that our defense was so bad today. Somewhat. I mean, oh, Stafford threw for 536. I, that's an interesting stat line. I don't really know what we take away from that. Five touchdowns. We forced turnovers when we had to, but what if we didn't? But we did. I don't know. It's interesting. Minshew, two touchdowns, no picks. Are you proud of me? 184 through the air. Maybe outplayed by Stafford. That was an interesting one. Minshew, pretty good game overall. Madison goes 20 for 158, four touchdowns, only two broken tackles and 36 yards after contact. I, can, I think that kind of just shows how good the offensive line was. Bowers and Devontae Adams with nearly identical numbers, but two touchdowns for Devontae Adams. Could have had a much better day for Jacoby Myers, but unfortunately missed him. 
And then defensively, Jack Jones is that guy. Pick six machine, sack for Koontz, TFLs for Butler, Koontz, Spillane, and Crosby. And of course, we had the interception for Jack Jones. Force fumble for Koontz was recovered by Spillane. Jack Jones, Mr. Pick six, baby. Jack Jones, though, dude. Stealing from opposing quarterbacks like he's stealing from Panda Express. That's a fun story to look into. But who among us has not burglarized a Panda Express? I don't know. I digress. As I always say, there's no river long enough that doesn't contain a bend. But another big time win. We're 5-2. and two, Really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Chiefs for the division. And the Chargers are also 5-1. and one. Unreal. They're number one right now. Chiefs right there at 4-2. and two. It's a pretty big game for the division. It's early in the season, though. But we'll focus on scouting, national focus, and whatever this storyline is in the next episode. Should be a fun one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.